What's up? I've got some uh, some news on the StarCraft 2 patch 1.5. Yes, 1.5 um, update patch thing. Shut up. Okay. So the first thing is it's obviously a new Battle.net UI, which I've looked at the menu and it's all right. It's different. I'm not sure whether I like it or not, um, but I couldn't actually log in, so it was only the the first menu you get to. But even that's different, and it I'm not sure how I feel about it. Anyway, so actually I couldn't log in because for some reason the U.S. server wasn't recognised by Battle.net, and the the SEA server, which is the one I normally play on, uh it needed some, what was it? Uh, lang it needed a language pack that I didn't have, so it didn't let me didn't let me log in. Anyway, so there's a new Battle.net AI, <clears throat> I mean UI, um, and that has an arcade button and a StarCraft 2 button. Um, so I'm just going to go through those two things. So to start with, the arcade button. Uh, has been added to the Battle.net navigation panel at the top left of the user interface. Custom games once found in the custom games interface will now be found here with an improved interface and tools. Players now have more flexibility to find, play and review custom games more quickly and easily than ever before. Okay. Um, the spotlight page displays new or up and coming games players can visit the spotlight to browse featured games, new games on the rise, and top rated games as reviewed by the community. Uh, players can search for games based on genre, popularity, star ratings, newness, and recent spikes in popularity. Um, each custom game in the arcade is represented by, an, a, by a game icon. The game icon contains a large game image provided by the creator and includes the game's name and star rating. However, uh, oh, sorry, hovering over the icon displays the game description. Clicking on a game icon brings players into the game info page, the main portal for each game in the arcade. Uh, I need to scroll down a bit. All right. Um, this page contains summarized information about a custom game, including a description, screenshots, play instructions, reviews, and other information. The game info page cons consists of several sections. An overview, how to play, patch notes, review, tutorial, and that's it. Uh, there is now a join chat button on the game info page that allows players to join a channel named after the arcade game after that arcade game uh, the new open games list displays games that have players but aren't full and ready to start yet this should help players identify active games and find partners or opponents more easily and that's it for the arcade button um, so the only thing I can think of that this may be about is the custom games would be like the custom maps, like there's a Bomberman custom map, so that might be one of these games or something. So I'm assuming it's just map mods. Um, which is amazing. I actually, I could be wrong, I might have seen Dota a Dota map mod in StarCraft 2. Um, it might have been something else, I don't know. Either way, now onto the StarCraft button. The StarCraft 2 multiplayer ladder, melee games, and other classic gameplay options have been moved into a separate StarCraft 2 button. The StarCraft 2 button has been reorganized to consolidate... Wow, I can't believe I said that word right. Okay. The StarCraft button has been reorganized to consolidate all single player and multiplayer StarCraft 2 player types in one easy to navigate screen. Players can now access the following from a single unified StarCraft screen. Multiplayer, Quitchmac, 
quick match, co-op versus AI, team games, and merely custom games. Single player, campaign, challenges, and versus AI. Uh, new streaming launcher. A new streaming, uh, sorry, a new StarCraft 2 launcher will will allow game data to stream during play. This should reduce download, install, and patching times. We look forward to your feedback on the new launcher. Exclamation mark because they look happy. All right. Um. Please visit the StarCraft 2 forums to share your thoughts. I'll do that later. Graphic improvements. Uh, many physics op optimizations have been made across the entire game. Texture and resources management have been greatly improved and now use less overall memory. That's awesome. StarCraft 2 is now significantly more thorough in preloading content, resulting in less resulting in less in-game starter. Custom games now load shaders during the loader screen rather than in-game, resulting in less stuttering caused by shader generation. The Fog of War has been reworked to more accurately display units that are positioned near the edge of the fog. Alright, if you user interface. Uh, maximum selection size has been increased to... F f wait. Maximum selection size has been increased to 500 up from 255. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Items can now be instantly sold by pressing the control right click key combination. Instant items can now be used while targeting while in targeting mode without cancelling targeting in custom games. Uh, items can now display range indicators and AOE targeting cursors when in target mode in custom games. I'm sorry, I'm getting like super lost here. Okay. Inventory commands use, move, and pawn are now available as custom hotkeys in custom games. Alliance colors have been updated to propagate the entire UI. A new in-game pathing display has been added that shows the path a unit will take on the minimap. I'm keen to see that. Seriously keen. Alright. Battle.net updates. Um, hang on, how big is this? That is a big subsec section. Okay, I'm just going to go through this and then end the video, because that is a big subsection. All right. The news and community and help buttons have been removed from the main navigation panel to simplify the display. This can now be accessed from the home screen. Um, the player profile screen has been reorganized to streamline the overall display of the profile information. From this screen, players can access their profile summary, career summary, match history, arcade reviews, and rewards. Uh, new, new statistics have been added to the player profile, games played, this section, most played mode, and total career games. Certain statistics, statistics that were previously shown on the player profile screen have now been consolidated into the career summary screen. Uh, career summary has been moved from the leagues and ladder screen into the pro player profile section. Um, the help screen is now accessible from the home screen instead of the navigation panel. Tutorials are now more appropriately accessible from the StarCraft menu. A new join chat button has been added. A new quick nav tab has been added to the bottom left corner of the battle.net UI. This is a customizable dashboard that allows players to bind up to five Battle.net screens to the F1 to 5 keyboard shortcuts for speedier navigation. That is amazing. I'm so going to use that all the time. All right. Uh, the following new slash commands have been added. Available anywhere on Battle.net. You, uh, sorry. Okay, so these are available anywhere on Battle.net slash afk 
slash close. Obviously, I'm not going to say what AFK is. Slash close. Uh, closes the focus chat window. Slash help displays available. Slash slash commands. Uh, slash min. Minimizes the focus chat window. Slash maximize. Obviously, well, it's slash max. But yeah. And then slash restore. Returns the focus chat window to default position and size. Uh, Alright, these are only available in private chat and. Well, hang on. Available only in private chat with another player. Okay. Slash DND &D puts the players into DND &D status. Slash party invite, that's amazing. Slash party kick, obviously, that's amazing. Slash block. Um, that blocks a targeted player slash unblock slash add friend slash remove friend uh, slash profile opens the profile page for targeted player slash report opens the report player dialogue for targeted player and slash friend note opens the friend note dialogue for targeted player cool um, and finally, players who have enabled the only allow friends to send me chat messages option can now receive responses back from non-friends if they initiate the chat. The ability to, the ability to chat with non-friended players will end the... Alright, the ability to chat with non-friended players will end if the player logs out or if no conversation occurs for five minutes. Cool. Sweet. So that is only about maybe one-sixth of the way through the whole patch notes for StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty patch 1.5. Um, I could go into the editor, um, but the whole thing for the editor is even longer than what I just read out, so it like I'm still scrolling through it. Uh, oh, he hello. Galaxy, new support has been added to the trigger. Okay, screw it, whatever. This is ridiculous. Over half of it is just for the the editor, and then I'm going to assume the rest of it is bug, fix bug fixes. So, sweet. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe for more awesome StarCraft 2 goodness. Hopefully when this finishes updating for me, I can finish casting the Liquid Hero replay pack. So if you're interested in seeing that stuff get casted, um, or if you haven't seen the replays yet, uh, make sure to subscribe because I'll be uploading more of those, um, hopefully today, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you later.